you say throw down. You ain't kidding. Ben was looking down at the rim that time. Six is suddenly by 25. As Drew Eubanks, a reserve, gets two. Again, it feels like I've you know, just continued to say that, but I've seen six or seven, maybe eight of those. Trey Jones got a block by Dwight Howard. I guess it's, we can just chalk it up to the weirdness of the season. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. The condensed schedule, players missing because of COVID protocol, teams being shorthanded. He's got 10 off the bench. Yeah, you want some of these jump shots. You want to save them in a jar for another yeah. day when you need them as Jones turns the corner and knocks down the little lane jumper. Paul Reed opening a lot of eyes as well. The two-way signee as Eubanks stand slams for two. Ramp, he went straight to the sideline. And so Trey Lyles in for him as Eubanks, Eubanks got the bucket. Frosties and fries, I am told. It's happened a couple of times. Trey Jones. Yep, back in 1976, actually at the old Spectrum. It was October 22nd, 1976. The Spurs won that game on Doc's debut, and the Sixers committed a franchise high in turnovers. People forget that it was Pop who's the general manager hired when he took over for Bob Hill. Yeah. And R.C. Buford, the current general manager of the Spurs, was an assistant coach at Kansas with Larry Brown. Wow. Back in the day. Yeah, for the Sixers, they'll tie their season high with their fifth straight, 17 and three at home. Best home record in the conference, a season high 15 above 500 at 27 and 12, a full one game above Brooklyn.